Just tell me. Do you want to stay married or not? Well, I mean, a lot has happened tonight. Everything I mean, is like... completely different now, and I need to know what my options are. You got a lot of guts to tell you that, you know. It took, it took a lot to tell me the truth about your father, that he shot Kate and he tried to kill me. And I appreciate that. You're welcome. But, you know, Anthony's gone now, and so are all the, the reasons we got married in the first place. I took a huge gamble marrying you. You were the enemy. I was just collateral in a bad business deal. I mean, I basically risked my life in a way of moving into your house, and I choose to believe that you are the kind of man that you say you are, that you're a man of your word, you're a man who fulfills his obligations, even to a wife that he doesn't love. I mean, that's why I told you about my father's plan. That's why I went against my entire family, because I trusted you. It's a good call, a brave call. Thank you. But the thing is, we're still seeing people going in as we were. We, we don't have a lot of reasons to trust each other. Look, I know the marriage went better than I expected, but we, we have different objectives. I mean, I mean, if you want out, just... No, what I'm saying that. is that... Anthony's out of the picture. And we need to know how far we're willing to go to get what we want. Claudia Corinthos? That would be me. I need to uh, check your vitals and update your chart. If you'll give us a moment. There was a line, the place is swamped. And I'm not sure you should have any coffee in the first place. You know what? If the biotoxin right. and the fire didn't kill me, one cup of hospital coffee is not going to kill me. Oh, I take it back. Don't mind now. Ugh. Caffeine is caffeine. So have you thought about what I said? Should I start making arrangements? You mean to leave the country? You'd be better off, Claudia. I probably would be too. What, what about Lulu? We're going to crash. It's inevitable, like I told you. It doesn't have to be. I mean, as much as I hate to say that, but as far as uh, me leaving the country, I might not have a choice. Is Sonny threatening you? No, actually, no. He's doing just the opposite, which is great. He's being incredibly decent to me, as he should be after what I did for him. I'm not liking the sound of this. I told Sonny that Daddy could walk. And that he shot Kate, and that Daddy's ultimate plan was to turn Jason against Sonny, get Sonny to kill Jason, and then Daddy was going to kill Sonny. And when did you tell him this? Tonight. God, it feels like a million years ago. Okay, Claudia, if this had gone wrong, our father could have killed you. And he still might. And nobody knows what happened to him, huh? Maybe our prayers have been answered, John, and he's burning in hell where he belongs. Still, that's one hell of a risk to take. So why don't you take the chance you're done with this? Uh, Cheers. I just, uh, you know, so he's my husband. Claudia, this marriage was supposed to be a means to an end. But John, I married Sonny to help the family. You walked away, and it became increasingly clear to me, at least, that... Sonny was going to beat Daddy at his own game, and I didn't want to be on the wrong side of that when it went down. So you saved Sonny's life by telling him the truth? I did what I had to do. And you expect him to be grateful? Sonny respects what I did. He understands what it cost me and how much I was risking, and he respects me in a, in a different way now. He understands me in a, in a new way, a good way. Okay. Even if that's true, Claudia, how long do you think that's going to last when Sonny finds out that we're the reason that his kid got shot? He doesn't have to find out if you keep your mouth shut. John, look, I spent my entire life paving the road for you to take over the Zakara organization, and you didn't want it. You walked away. You didn't even want what I would give anything to have. 
So you have to understand that staying married to Sonny is the only way for me to have the kind of real power that I want. Connie, you can't keep that kind of secret forever. You just keep quiet. That's all I'm asking. You just keep quiet. Just let it ride, okay? So you're choosing to risk your life to be with Sonny Corinthos. You're accepting that you're going to have to lie to him every second of every day under some delusion, some some grand hope that he's actually going to care for you, genuinely? Why would you do that? When you walked in, Sonny was on the verge of asking me for a divorce. Well, we can have it. Maybe I don't want a divorce, John. I don't. You dream of that, Claudia. What, just because you're bailing on Lulu, I have to walk away from Sonny? I love Lulu. Okay, but we don't stand a chance, neither do you and Sonny, because you want to put a son in a coma. We've kept it a secret this long. Too many people know, Claudia. It's only a matter of time. Sonny and I have a chance, okay? Love will not be part of the equation, John. But I will have real power for the first time in my life. And people will know that we have something real because we stayed together even with Daddy out of the picture. What about Kate Howard? Huh? Think about it, Claudia. You think she's just gonna disappear? It's not that complicated. She knows the truth. She hates you. Sooner or later, she's gonna open her mouth. I'd like to speak to Claudia. Alone. I just had a, an interesting conversation with Kate. What did Kate tell you? Nothing I didn't already know. Kate and I wanted a, a future together. We did everything we could to make that work, but it didn't. Because my father shot her? No, I don't, I don't mean... I don't think it would have worked out anyway. Kate... I always saw the best in me, but what I think she saw was a man who didn't exist. She deserved a lot better than I can give her, and, uh... just didn't work out. A lot of people got hurt along the way, including my son. I understand that. Yeah, I think you do. I mean, only somebody who's raised in this business really can understand how I operate. I mean, I've always known that since... My first wife, Lily, not that you're anything like Lily, it's just that unless you grew up in this business, you don't really know the realities. And, uh, you know, now that you, you know your father's gone and, and I'm no longer enemies with Jason, I, I'm looking for new opportunities. And uh, you were loyal to me, you stood up, and I'm willing to do the same for you. I'm not really sure where you're going with this. Well, I'm just... Um, I, I, I'm willing to stay married if you are. Sure. I will continue to be Mrs. Sonny Grantos. <laughs>